Hello everyone. Well, today I'm going to be showing you this vintage-ish Vax 5140 three-in-one vacuum cleaner. Now I'm pretty happy to have one of these again. I used to own one of these from new in the 90s and sold it at a car boot sale at York Racecourse for, I think I sold it for 40 pounds. So now I've got another one. I'm particularly pleased to have this one because many years ago, long before the internet and YouTube, I made a little video demonstrating the features of this Max machine. And here it is for you to have a look at. Introducing the 1400 watt Rapide Plus from Vax, the ultimate three-in-one cleaner with the unique Ultra Rapide cleaning head that makes carpet washing as easy as vacuuming. At the heart of the system is a powerful 1400 watt motor with a variable electronic speed control to suit all cleaning needs. The powerful suction of Vax makes short work of cleaning carpets with this combination carpet and floor nozzle. The telescopic extension tube is easily adjusted to reach high and low. With its various attachments, you can clean all round the home, from curtains, awkward corners, and delicate dusting jobs on all surfaces. Three cleaning tools store on the machine itself, so they're always at hand, ready to tackle any cleaning job in the home. The high filtration system ensures only clean air returns to the room, and all filters are easily removed for washing or replacement. This motor inlet filter is easily washed. And this cone filter is simple to replace to keep your vax working at peak efficiency. Five swivel casters make the Vax Rapid Plus highly maneuverable. Vax is an effective all around the home cleaner, but what makes it really special is the unique ultra rapid cleaning head that cleans your carpets deep down. Setting up the vats for carpet washing couldn't be easier. Simply fill the detergent tank with cold water and two capfuls of vax cleaning solution and place it inside the recovery tank. Fit the motor unit on top and close the clips to secure it to the base of the cleaner. Then fit the hose and connect the cleaning solution tube to the socket on the motor unit. The shampoo trigger is easily fitted to the handle of the hose. Then connect the solution tube to the inbuilt hose inside the Vax washing hose. The ultra rapid head fits onto the extension tube and the solution tube fits into the head. Now all you do is turn on the motor and pump and you're ready to go. Flick the switch on the handle to release the cleaning solution into your carpet. The cleaning solution penetrates the fibers of your carpet to remove all the deep down dirt, grease and grit. Powerful suction removes the dirty solution into the recovery tank, leaving your carpets almost dry. You'll be amazed at the dirt you can remove, bringing your carpets back to life, restoring the pile and brightening the colours. And the Ultra Rapid Head makes carpet washing so easy, with two large rear wheels and a wide cleaning path. Get your carpets deep down clean with the new Rapid Plus from Vax. So there you go, that's a very early example of Ibasic in action. That's analog Ibasic. Of course, I'm now 4K digital and I've got a lot more experience under my belt at editing and making videos. But I think for the time I did it, 
It was a pretty decent effort. I could possibly recreate that now. Exactly the same, but using more modern video techniques. Okay, let's see what we've got in the box. First thing out is the filter for dry use. You can still buy these sort of paper, they're not washable. This cone filter, still widely available. In fact, I think most of the parts for the 6131 that I've shown you will be compatible with this machine. Very similar. That's a little bit loose. I think oh, that's okay. I think mine was a little bit stiffer. But there we go. So that's for dry use only, not for wet pickup. Then we have the Vax Ultra Rapid Head, which was, I'm not sure if it was an improvement on the previous head, but anyway, it made it a little bit easier to wash your carpets. Clear window here to see the dirty water. Two big wheels on the back. A larger suction inlet. And we've got just one line here where the solution flows through. I've actually demonstrated this nozzle in a previous video. I bought the nozzle on its own and used it with another Vax machine. We've got some, uh, well, quite used original Vax carpet shampoo. I'm going to put some of the Vax Platinum, platinum shampoo in in my machine to demonstrate. Hmm, I guess that's vaguely familiar. So that's typical sort of 90s packaging. I'm, see, I, I'm, I'm sure this is a 90s machine. We've got telescopic wand. Does feel a lot better quality. This is very heavy. I'm not sure if this is made in the UK. It is, I've just checked. It says made in England on it, can you believe it? So a nice telescopic wand. Then we've got the hose. I might have to move the machine out of the way, move the box. There we go. Now the hose on this particular Vax has the solution tube built in. This was possibly around the same time as the Hoover Aquamaster when Hoover started putting the solution tube inside the hose to make it a little bit easier to set up. So there's none of that clipping the solution tube to the outside of the hose anymore. Not with this machine anyway. You've got nice little brass fittings on here. It's a little bit kinked. I have to unkink that a bit. So this end goes into the machine and it pumps the solution through to this part. Obviously we have to attach a bit more tubing to the end here. Looks a little bit different to how I remember it, I'm not sure. And we've got suction control here, a bit of Vax branding, just about see that perhaps. So that's the hose. Now comes the machine. So basically, this is the same design, really, as the latest Vax that you could buy, but as I, I think it's discontinued now because it's certainly not on Vax's website. I'm assuming the wheels and the other accessories will be inside. Let's just take off the motor unit and see what delights we have inside. These are just parts of the packaging, so we will pop those back in the box. It's a bubble wrap. I will go, I'm going to use this and uh, do my, I'm in my mum's house at the moment. You might be able to tell from a different sofa. So I might give her sofa a bit of a shampoo using the small shampoo head. So this is basically based on the more traditional Vax head with the two suction channels either side of the central piece that distributes the solution. So it concentrates the Vax power. So it's good for stairs and it's good for upholstery. Also inside the car, you can shampoo your car seats and your car mats. So there's that. And here we have a short, short and curly solution tube. If you remember my Vax Luna video, these perish. I think this is possibly original. So we just got a, a short curly piece. So there's only one clip here. So everything just curls around the wand and then the trigger screws on to the handle where this brass fitting is. And you've got uh, your little trigger there to let the solution flow. Whoops. Here's the uh, clean water 
tank where we put our vac solution and warm water but I believe it said in the instructions I seem to remember it says cold water and I thought that was odd and I always I always put a bit warm water I didn't put very hot water in but I put I didn't put cold water in I, I think I remember it saying cold water anyway it's a standard this would fit the 6131 the Chinese made one I'm sure it's exactly the same molding but of course this one was made in Britain so four litre maximum capacity for your solution we've got uh, the familiar a little bit uh, it, it's got bed hair I think they called it when I used to have hair sometimes I used to wake up with bed hair especially in the 80s when you used a lot of gel and mousse on your hair and you didn't wash it before bedtime you could wake up and you'd be having to wet your hair down to, to stop it from sticking up those were the days folks <laughs> so that's your dusting brush looks pretty unused very short crevice tool and the upholstery nozzle at least it's a metal base but here's the uh, what do you call this a carpet floor nozzle that's it I forgot for a moment <laughs> so brushes up for carpets press on the pedal brushes down for hard floors brush at the front a squeegee at the back litter pickers wheels pretty standard fare then we've got one two three four five casters I need to fit on the underside of the machine oh we do have the instructions that's good two genuine are they are oh, no one genuine I think that's genuine one genuine bag and one electro part bag so we do have the easy guide and I'm just going to check so this is for 5140 and 5150 I think the 5150 as far as I remember had um, a turbo nozzle and a stair cleaning tool uh, stair cleaning hose might have had a hard floor washing head as well I'm not sure but this covers both models mainly pictures to show you how to use the machine and I'm pretty sure I read cold water somewhere oh the 5140 uh, 5150 has a pickup tool as well I've shown you that spill pickup tool with my uh, my Vax uh, upright carpet washing device what was that called <laughs> the new wave style you know what I mean you can get the auto mop to fit this as well so right I'll look at that later we've got uh, a nice little bit of an extra brochure here why do you need to wash your carpets well if you're a dog owner you won't need to ask that question there's the 5150 in the middle it's uh, black and the standard 5130 that uh, as I said you can you can probably still get now but I'm sure it's discontinued yeah, just a little bit of an extra bonus brochure there inside of the tub nice and clean there's the underside let's pop the wheels on one two three four five once I caught a fish alive I've just been reminded to say to any young children watching eat your vegetables eat all your vegetables especially your broccoli sprouts carrots peas all your vegetables all your green leafy vegetables all your colored vegetables all your fruits eat them and you'll be strong and fit like me <coughs> that's my customer service announcement I just I'm just reminded of that uh, I was asked to say that for somebody <laughs> right so here at the back we've got the storage for the tools as shown in my uh, vintage demonstration video so there we have it okie dokie well let's slot in I'm not going to use the genuine bag let's slot in the electro part bag that uh, might have seen a little bit of use right so there's the bag folks on goes the motor unit make sure the clips are secure like so hang on there we are have to be cool to be kind and then we can switch the machine on I've removed the baby gate that's normally here so I can shampoo it properly there's a great big indentation where the baby gate was but there's nothing I can do about that and the baby gate will be going back anyway 
once the carpet's dry. So I'm gonna give this a vacuum. There's also, just in front of me, or just behind the camera, there's a stuck-on runner. So I'm not gonna take that up this time, I'm just going to shampoo that in situ and the carpet around it. First of all, I need to give this carpet a good dry vacuuming. Well, that's everywhere fully vacuumed. This cleaner is a little bit noisier than I remember it. The motor doesn't sound quite as good as the one I had from brand new. You can still buy new motors to fit these machines. I don't know if it's really worth it for this, but it's certainly louder than a lot of the sort of unused vintage Vax machines that I've shown you. But it works, that's the main thing. And I do like this simple nozzle. You know, at least it's got the metal base plate. But even on maximum power, it doesn't stick to the carpet, but then again, it doesn't glide over the carpet too easily either. It's a nice sort of in-between balance where you feel it's actually doing something, but you're not having to have a full workout to use the nozzle. Unlike some of the newer machines today made under the EU regulations that just clamp themselves down onto the carpet. The first thing I'm going to do, apart from Obviously I'm going to take the bag out and set this machine up for shampooing. But when I start shampooing, I'm going to use the small upholstery nozzle and I'm going to go around the entire edge of this hall first. And then I'm going to fit the full-sized rapid nozzle and do the main area. First thing I need to do is remove the dust bag and of course the dry filter. I'm not sure, I think we have to take the hose off so we can slide the bag out. And then before I put the clean water solution on the dirty water tank, I'm gonna pop in a little bit of Defoma. This is the Defoma I use in all my carpet washers, whether they're vintage or new machines, and it just helps to stop excess foam from building up in the recovery tank, and it prevents the float valve from operating too soon. So I'm just gonna pop a bit, I'm not gonna measure it in. If you want to buy this, I do recommend it. There will be an Amazon affiliated link below the video. I'm just gonna pour just a little bit in, just to cover the bottom. So not very much is needed. The dilution rate of that solution you can buy today is 40 milliliters a solution per one liter of water. So as this takes four liters of water, I've put in 160 milliliters of Vax solution. So the solution is there up to the fill line. I can now reattach the hose, make sure it's firmly in position. And now I can fit the motor unit, but before I put the motor unit back on, I need to take the tube here that takes the solution through the pump and to the wash head. I need to release that and make sure that this end is in the solution, like so. Make sure it's not trapped. Place the motor unit back on. Okay, lock it in position and then I need to take the solution tube that's inside the hose. I need to fit it onto this outlet here. It's a bayonet fitting so we need to insert the fitting and twist it until it's firmly in position. I'm now going to fit the solution tube and trigger assembly to the machine. So first need to slide it on. There's a little groove. That's it. And then we need to screw this fitting here to the fitting at the end of the hose. So make sure it's on nice and tight so there's no leaks. And then I'm just going to take the curly tube and just put it over the short piece, the short metal piece of the handle, and then fit the upholstery nozzle, like so. So there's quite a lot of excess hose, as you can see, excess tubing, but it's uh, wrapped around fairly neatly. 
and then the free end of that goes into the top of the nozzle like so and uh, this clip we can just just pop it there to keep it out of the way I've turned the electronic suction control to the washing position so all I need to do now is turn on the machine and the motor and either squeeze the trigger like this or flip this little lever, this orange lever to keep the solution flowing constantly and to turn the solution off I do that. So I'm going to allow the solution to flow, do all around the edges, a couple of times forwards and back and then I'm going to stop the solution flowing, pick up the excess liquid and then clean the main area of carpet. But first of all we need to check that the pump is still working. Oh dear, as you can see we've got a little bit of a, a leakage problem here. <laughs> it might spurt out in, when I take this off. Oh, no. Mmm, oh dear. That's a shame, isn't it? Oh dear me. Now there's a clip on here. I don't know whether the clip's been tightened too tight and it's caused the split. I mean, there's plenty of length left in this tube here to shorten it again. I just, oh. Because buying spares for this, I don't know if it's split. Buying spares for this machine, especially this part, I'd have to buy the whole hose assembly, I expect, if I could still get it. Um, hmm, let's just try it again. I I'm not sure, I don't think the pump works on these machines without the motor running. No, it doesn't. So I'm gonna have to, I'll turn the motor down so it's a little bit quieter. Well, it's giving the front of the uh, vax a nice clean, a nice soapy wash. But I don't want the solution on the front. I want it at the nozzle. I mean, some obviously was coming down to the nozzle. But I can't have this, can I? Oh, dear. And I'm not at home without all my tools. But what I'm going to... Oh, dear. What I'm going to attempt to do is uh, loosen up this metal clip, pull the hose out, cut maybe a couple of centimetres off the tube and relocate it and hopefully we'll get a tight seal. Well folks I managed to get the clip off eventually and I cut a fresh piece of solution tube, pushed it on, tightened the clip, it's still leaking. So I mean the clip isn't very good, I could do with a new clip, I'm sure I can buy new clips and I know I can buy a new um, piece here, this black piece. I'm sure that's still available. Um, it might just be a case of putting silicon around it, but I haven't got any at the moment here. So to finish the demonstration, I'm just going to have to wrap <laughs> wrap a tea towel around it to just stop stop most of the drips and uh, carry on as best I can. Well folks, I've managed to clean around the edge of the carpet. It's not, it has leaked, this tea towel's damp, but when the solution's actually flowing, it leaks less. It's when you've got the solution stopped and the pump's still running where there's a pressure build up and it's spurting out. It was still leaking, but not as much. So I have managed to do all around the edge, but I've also used up all the solution just doing around the edge. So I'm gonna have to refill the tank and attempt to clean the rest of the carpet using the ultra rapid head. I'm, I'm soaking wet because I've been kneeling on the carpet where the vax was spilling out the solution. So I'm going to fill up but another thing I'm going to do is fetch some ear defenders from the garage because my ears are ringing. <laughs> it's very loud this machine. I'll just show you the dirty water. It is 
pretty dirty despite the fact I've only cleaned around the edge but I can definitely see a difference in between the bits of carpet I've cleaned using the small nozzle and the carpet that's been uncleaned it's certainly a complete transformation you can see the dirt in here and there's no foam you can see so that defoamer is certainly worth investing in just to stop all the excess foam this hall has been shampooed countless times so it will produce excess foam every time I use a carpet washer uh, I really should, and this is best practice, after you've washed your carpets, you should go over with clean water or you can use a white vinegar mix to neutralize any solution left. It helps remove any solution uh, residue in your carpet and it prevents it from resoiling as quickly. So I might do that another day. I'm gonna wet it, let it dry in between shampooings and then go over it again with just some warm water you can buy a special carpet rinse pro chem do one that helps to get out excess residue i've got some of that but it's at home but that's a, always a good idea okay i'll empty this refill it and then uh, fit the ultra rapide head before i fit the end of the curly tube into the top of the ultra rapide head the curly tube is falling to bits i had to uh, retrieve this from the small shampoo nozzle because it snapped while I was using it so I had to get some long nose pliers to pull that out and uh, trim the end and put it back in. Now it is quite a lot of excess uh, curly coil so it doesn't matter. This stuff disintegrates as I showed on my uh, other vax cleaner, the Luna. It was, in, it was in bits this sort of curly but I can get a new curly tube. I'm not bothered if this starts falling to bits that's easily fixed. So we'll pop this end anyway into the top of the ultra rapide head and we'll attempt to finish cleaning this carpet. Well folks, I think I've finished for now. I haven't actually finished cleaning the hallway. I've only done the area in front of me. It looks better, but there's still quite a dirty stain in the doorway that uh, is going to need further treatment. When I show you the dirty water, I've no doubt that it will be dirty and it has pulled up a lot of dirt, but it's not perfect. This sort of machine is best resigned to history. There are a lot of work and not satisfying to use as an upright carpet washer with agitation you need rotating brushes you need spin scrub brushes or normal rotating brushes some sort of agitation you definitely need with a carpet washer and fortunately this days we've got a lot to choose from but you know in the 90s this was pretty good for what it was I remember this fondly when I had it from brand new. I didn't have the problems I'm having with this old machine. It didn't leak. Um, 
the curly pipe wasn't falling to bits. One quirk with this, which I did did have problems with with my machine, is this hose here. It kinks, so you'll find it's not giving solution out because it's kinked normally down where it enters the hose. It stops the solution flowing, and you're forever having to try and unkink it and readjust it. So it's not surprising that Vax soon did away with this idea. Okay, let's have a look at the the dirty water anyway. It was producing a lot of foam, I noticed, coming up of the nozzle. I went over it a lot of times, more than I showed you, back and forth slowly after I'd applied the solution just to remove as much of the dirty solution as I can. But this, this is a work in progress. I'm going to finish this off camera. So, and possibly not with this machine. So here's the dirty water and again, the defoamer has worked at basically eliminating all the foam in there. It's hard to see with the uh, dark coloured recovery bucket, but yes, that is pretty dirty. It's done a job, but it hasn't done a fantastic job. Well, there you go, folks, the Vax 5140, a vacuum cleaner from my past, which in hindsight, perhaps, should have remained in my past and just been left on YouTube as that early video that I made all those years ago. It wasn't too bad all those years ago, but the years haven't been too kind to this machine. It looks fantastic. It looks almost like it's brand new, but obviously age has taken its toll on this cleaner and it is slowly falling to bits, just like the rest of us. If you have any comments or questions about this 90s Vax cleaner, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.